G'day guys, Tim here again. This is a follow-up video from the Reaper Media File uh, video that I did, the one where I showed you how the big mess that I'd made in regards to this Reaper Media File here, which is just full of WAV files, peak files, everything related to every project that hasn't been categorized into its own folder and kept nice and tidy. So what I should have done originally is what I'm going to show you today is how to keep everything nice and tidy. Now I've just done a voiceover session here and spare of the moment what I really should have done is just gone and created a folder and started recording put everything into that. But in this case I haven't done that. So what I should do now is just go to file, save project as. Okay and I've got a shortcut here, where is it? There. It's another Reaper media file. Okay. So the client is CraigTube, and what I want to do is we're going to call this Nix Fix, and we're going to create a new folder because we want to create a new file for this particular project. So we'll call that Nix Fix as well, so that we can keep an eye on it. So we go Create, so that creates a new folder inside the client CraigTube, and in this case, because I've only got the two audio tracks that I've recorded with voiceover, they are sitting in this particular file here. So it's all sitting there with all this other stuff that I'm going to have to clean up as well. Not this time though. So if we go back to here, what I want to do is move all the media into the project directory. So that'll move that from wherever it's recorded and stick it into here so it's nice and tidy and keep it all together. Now if you've done this and you've got production elements in there as well and you're all all geared to go you may not want to do that because that will actually move those production elements into this folder and you may not be able to find them again later on until you remember which was the last project you did that so in that particular case you want to go to copy all media okay so that way you've leave a copy in that file where it was and you bring a copy of it over to this particular project so that if you ever move the project all the elements stay with it and things don't go offline so in this case all I want to do is just move all the media into the project directory as I save it. So okay we go yes save done. And then if I go to the CraigTube folder and we go down to next fix there's those two files. Okay so these are the ones that we've used in this particular one. So anything else that I bring in now to this pro project is going to stay there. Okay so that way it keeps it nice and easy but again just watch that move and keep an eye on the copy thing because the copy is you want to keep those elements if you go move they're going to get stuck in there okay and you have trouble trying to track stuff down so just a, a word to the wise so I hope that's helped you guys hey look if you're enjoying the videos absolutely feel free to thumbs them up and subscribe to the channel hope this has all been helpful more Reaper videos on the way in the meantime happy mixing cheers